Hello friends, this video on linear equations in one variable part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now move ahead with the next type of equations that we will learn to solve. So these are equations which are reducible to linear form. So here the equations would still be linear equation but they will not appear in the same uh, conventional form of linear equation. So the way they will appear to us would, would look complex but we will see how we can reduce them to the usual form of linear equation. So whenever you find an equation of this form where you have a numerator divided by denominator is equal to a numerator divided by a denominator where these numerators and denominators are algebraic expressions like they could be anything like 2x plus 3x plus 9x plus 1 y plus 2 so anything of this sort so whenever you have an equation of this form something like this let's take an example 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 9 is equal to 1 by 2 or sometimes even on this side you might have these kind of expressions. So when you have an equation of this form, now when you look at this equation, it doesn't look that simple like the usual linear equation, right? So you feel that don't know what to do. So the only thing that you need to do in this case is your first step should be to cross multiply. Now, what do we mean by cross multiply? Cross multiply means you multiply the denominator on the right hand side to the numerator of left hand side. Similarly, you multiply the denominator of left hand side with the numerator on right hand side. So that is called cross multiplication. So in this case, what will happen in that case? 2 into 2x plus 3 will be equal to 1 into x plus 9. So that is what you will get. So in this case 2 into 2x would be 4x plus 2 into 3 would be 6 and this side it would be x plus 9. Right? So basically you know what are we doing when we are cross multiplying? Now basically when we are cross multiplying we are actually multiplying this denominator on both sides. It is the same thing. If you multiply x plus 9 on both sides. Now why are we doing this cross multiplication to keep things simple because every time when you have to multiply something on both sides first you will think what I have to multiply then you will multiply that so it will take more time. In this case you just know all you need to do is you need to cross multiply multiply with the denominator on the other side. So this is what you get now you put all the variables on one side like this and all the constants on the other side. So you get 3x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 3 divided by 3 that is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 would be a solution for this equation. So you see even though the equation looked complex but we could very easily solve it. Now one important thing that needs to be noted here is this rule is applicable only for equations in this form and this rule is strictly not applicable for different forms of equation. For example, if you have an equation of this form x by 2 minus y 1 by 5 is equal to x by 3 plus 1 by 4. Now is this equation in this form? This equation is numerator by denominator minus numerator by denominator. But here we said it should be numerator by denominator equal to numerator by denominator. So in this case, this rule will not be applicable. So you should not start cross multiplying here. So this will not be applicable for this case. However, if you have an example like x minus 1 by 2 is equal to x plus 1 divided by 12. So here you see it is in the same form numerator by denominator, numerator by denominator. So here this rule would be applicable. So you can directly cross multiply. Again, let's take one more example 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 5 is equal to x minus 9 by 2. So in this case, on the right hand side, it is in the form of numerator by denominator. But on the left hand side, it is not in that form. Here you have numerator by denominator plus a number. So therefore, here also overall the rule will not be applicable. So with this examples, what I'm trying to tell you is where exactly can you uh, actually apply this concept of cross multiplication to solve the equation. 
So now you might say that okay fine so we will be able to apply this concept only where this particular form holds true. But what about all these complex forms because even these look, look more complex so how are we going to solve them? So how are you going to solve these complex equations? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.